What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to change your profile background on Steam. You can see mine is this moving thing with the dolphins jumping in and out of the water at the beach. You can get a moving background, you can get one that's still. It depends on how many Steam points you want to spend and if you don't know what Steam points are, I will explain. We'll get into it, don't worry. But first, let's show you how to change the background. So how do we do this? Go to the top, actually go to the top up here and click on profile. So that'll bring you to your profile. You'll be able to see your background. This is the screen that I'm on right now. Then you can click on edit profile up here. Then you can click on profile background and you'll be able to see full screen or original size. You can actually set this to however you want it. I like original size better. And then down here is all the backgrounds you have. So default, this is what the default Steam one is. I have another Counter-Strike one, and then I have this Space Beach Retro Wave. If you don't have anything here, or if you want to get some more, you're going to want to click on this Steam Point Shop button right here. If you're happy with picking one of these, you can just click Save, and your Steam background will be saved. But if you want to buy another one, let's go do that. So click on Steam Point Shop, and you're, you'll see your balance up here. So how do you get Steam Points? You get Steam Points by buying games on the Steam Store or buying things in game that are in game transactions. So not from the community market. If you buy like a CS2 skin from the community market, it won't give you any steam points for that. Cause that goes to like another person. It doesn't go to the game creator. That's the whole point of these I'm pretty sure. Um, so like, let's say you buy Elden Ring, you're gonna get steam points for that. Let's say you make an in game purchase and you buy the DLC, you'll get steam points for that. Let's say you buy like in CS2, let's say you buy a key from the CS2 store, you get Steam points for that. But if you buy the key from the community market, you don't. That's the difference. So that's the whole breakdown on the Steam points. Hopefully that made sense. But then you're gonna wanna go to backgrounds and here are the still ones up here. And then here are the animated moving ones. You'll see they're more expensive. And yeah, you can just pick whatever you want. So let's pick one together, guys. Um, let's check out these animated ones. We can click see all. Let's scroll through. Let's see if we can find a cool one. Lightning's pretty cool. That one's not bad. I want kind of a chill. That's very intense. All right, oil rig it is. That's enough wasting your attention span. So this is 2000 steam points. Actually, let me not buy an animated one. Let me go back to a still one because I don't have any still ones. I only have animated ones. That's tiled still profile backgrounds. These are the ones we want to see. So let's check these out. Um, and I'm just going to pick like a Dark Souls one. So if you want to filter by your game, I believe No, it doesn't give you an option to filter. It used to, I believe, but... I have to search like this, yeah. All right, let's check out the Dark Souls profiles. So... Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. Buy it for 500 Steam points, and you can just click Equip now if you want to use it like that, and then you can view your profile, and you'll see you'll have the new background so if I want to edit my background again and make it full screen make it even bigger I can do that click save and then go back to my profile <coughs> excuse me and you'll see it got even bigger so that's how you change your steam profile and how to get a moving background and change your background hopefully you found this video helpful if you did drop a like drop any questions you got in the comments don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching